This is an incredibly rare key I found uh, three years ago near Marlborough. British, this, this is probably more intricately decorated than the example in the British Museum. Uh, I put, recorded it with the Portable Antiquities and they were amazed by its uh, open cast decoration. It is a Saxon key of possibly 9th, 10th century and I found it near the remains of a what was an old Cistercian monastery and um, I presume that it dates to around about that period but as you can see it's uh, it's quite decorated on both sides but if you see on one side there it's got, it's got, it's got a beautifully preserved loop and um, got a hollow cast shank but the actual decoration is, I don't know whether, whether it's like a rigorite decoration or it almost could slip into the Norman period, but so late in its Saxon date. But gorgeous little door key. And uh, the amazing thing is, uh, over 25, 24, 25 years, I, I think I can say I found another Saxon key, but ironic, uh, it seems amazing that this little key, never seen anything like it before. I found this <clears throat> it's probably half a mile away. It was in the in in the valley, uh, up near Marlborough again. And um, this is quite like an animal-headed key. It's tiny, as you can see. It sort of fits on two fingers, really. But this would have been a casket key. But as you can see on its decoration, it's like a humpbacked animal with a the actual key itself is formed from a bit of a chin on there with an animal head. It's a uh, three-dimensional. I thought it was quite amazing. <laughs> but the um if that was you know these are both incredibly rare finds. Just goes to show you what can be done. Uh, these fields have been searched many times before. Don't take much, just the next signal to make your day. Thank you.